Happy New Year. Um, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a really good Christmas and a really good New Year. This video is going to be my vinyl collection because it's something I've collected for like a really long time but I've never actually spoken about. Um, but I've got, a, I've got a pretty hefty collection now. This is it. Um, minus two that are in frames. Um, the first vinyl I can't actually show you because it's in a frame but it's the first vinyl that I ever bought and the starter of my collection. It's Blondie Parallel Lines and it's the first vinyl I bought. I bought this in Camden for £5 and I love it. That's why it's framed. Blondie is like one of my favourite human beings ever. And then my second vinyl that I ever got was actually bought for me and it's the album Ultrabox Ha 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 and that's also in a frame because it's very special to me. I won't go into detail but it is. <laughs> I'll go through my singles first. These are just 7 inch vinyl singles. So my collection goes as follows. So I've got the Holloways, Dance Floor. Um, I collect Holloways because I actually knew the guitarist before they broke up. Um, his name's Mike. So every time I see a Holloways album or single I buy them. I've got Last Christmas by Wham, which I played once this year <laughs> um, on Boxing Day. But there's that. I got that from a charity shop. I got this album, uh, this single, sorry, Toya. Four more from Toya. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of Toya, but I loved the album work, the album artwork on this one. It's really colourful. I think it looked nice framed actually. I've got Blondie Picture This. I bought this in Beehive Records in Battlesbridge. But this is like a, a yellow single and I think this is really really cool. Like I recently bought Jack, my boyfriend, um, <coughs> two Squeeze records and one was lilac and one was red and I thought they were really cool. I've got Brother Still Here because I really loved Brother when I was in school. Madonna Borderline because can't be a bit of Madge and Material Girl. This one was from a charity shop in South End, and this one was from Beehive Records as well. That's all my singles. I also have a Lulu record, but it's not playable unfortunately. It's like a little pot. My sister got me this from the place she works in. She was throwing it out, they were throwing them out, and she picked it up for me not really looking at what she's picked me up but it is the Lulu single for Boom Banger Bang and that's my favourite Lulu song so <laughs> thanks sister um, I'm not really going to do these in order I'm just going to show you what I've got so I've got 10cc Live and Let Live this is the live double album I love 10cc and my boyfriend actually bought this for me he surprised me with it because he knows how much I love them and it's probably like the greatest gift anyone could give me is a vinyl. I love music, I love vinyl, I love all the things. So thanks boyfriend. So that's a cute little gift that I got. Uh, oh, well, the next two are from my boyfriend as well. This is Florence's new album, um, How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful. I love Florence Welch, I've got the same birthday as her. And um, she's actually the first CD I ever got was Lungs, her first album and I can't really say how much Florence Welch means to me but she means a lot um, and I've also got Kate Bush Lionheart this is brilliant um, Jack bought this for me when we were at the Columbia Road Christmas Market we were in the record shop they've got down there and he literally grabbed it and was like don't look and ran away and bought it for me and gave it to me on Christmas so this is a lovely album I really love this love a bit of Kate Bush you can't like on the Kate Bush. I've got Blondie, also American. This album is a masterpiece. It's so, it's so different from any of the Blondie I've ever heard. And if you're used to the commercial Blondie, like the Blondie that's all her singles that you'll get if you put a Blondie playlist on, you need to listen to this album because it's theatrical as well as brilliantly written. And I love this, it wasn't what I was expecting at all from Blondie. And my favourite thing about this is I've actually still got the 
sleeve that you send away to get the Blondie merchandise. <laughs> so that's really funny. This is Warpaint, Warpaint. Warpaint are my favourite band of all time. I love them. I've probably said that about everything, but they're my favourite current band um, because they're all women and they kick butt. I mean, what more could you want? I saw them live in 2013 and it was like the best night of my life. But it's a double, double album. Not a double album, I think it's just double a double disc album. I don't know. Um, but if you love prog rock, dream rock, anything like that, war paint. I picked up Phil Collins Space Value in a charity shop a couple of weeks ago and um, everyone's just like, why have you bought a Phil Collins vinyl? I hate Phil Collins. I'm just like, why? How can you hate Phil Collins? He's a genius. Um, I picked up this one in the trade shop. This is The Carpenters, Yesterday Once More. I think it's just all their classics, all their most popular songs. But it's another fold out album. And I think it's like a pound. I love this. 20 fantastic hits by the original artist. This is like 50p. And it just had a few songs that I really like on here, like. Um, all the Young Dudes by Mott the Hoople and um, Blockbuster by The Sweets. I thought, do you know what, that takes me right back so I took it and I bought it. Got the Bee Gees because of the Bee Gees. This is awesome, this one. It folds out and it's got all of their portraits. I've got <laughs> the Grease soundtrack. Now I'm going to start collecting soundtracks. This is my first one. Um, but if I can find them I'd really like the soundtrack to Dirty Dancing. I know my friend my friend Ella has it and I'm way jealous of her but I love the fold out in this one. It's got all of the photos. This would look quite cool if it was just like propped up on the side. Click with Mac Rumors. This album gives me life. Slay. But um, Stevie Nicks is one of my favourite human beings after Florence, of course. I love my influential women, have you noticed? Um, I loved Stevie's Nicks so much that I wanted to change my name to Stevie for so long and I actually made it my Facebook name for quite some time. Um, I've got Meatloaf Bat Out of Hell because Meatloaf. Like a bat out of hell, I'm gone when the money I'm gone. Mr. Newman, the pleasure principal. I love Gary Newman. Another man I'd love to meet. Um, he's when Little Boots, my uh, another one I loved. When Little Boots did Perfect Symmetry with Gary Newman in it, I could have died. But this is the Pleasure Principle, and I do recommend if you like electronic music to get this one because it's just beautiful. It's a masterpiece. I've got Def Leppard, Hysteria because the album artwork is insane and this has got pour some sugar on me on it this is a very good album this is the Ghostbusters theme tune because why the hell would you leave that behind in the shop it needed some love and I'm loving on it so that is all of my records I am definitely going to make a to buy list for this year I want it to be like walls and walls big of records because I just love them. I've been collecting vinyl since I was 6, 15, 16, 16, 16, I think I was 16, <laughs> that's four years, um, and honestly I've grown up around it, my dad's always had a record player in the front room and his vinyl collection puts mine to shame, and my brother collects too, so, you know, vinyl, it's a way of life kid. So that's it for today's video, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next one, bye!